Hey there, Nick Chitak is here. In this video, we're going to go over the difference between hitting Control L as well as running the clear command because there is a subtle difference between the two. And this video stems from receiving this comment the other week in an unrelated video where someone was like, by the way, just hit Control L, to which I replied, that would make life a little bit too easy because it was pretty funny after seeing this comment here. I did rewatch this video and I noticed that I ran the clear commands about 500 times and using Control L would have served the same purpose for this use case. It's also a nice little uh, takeaway or side effect here of recording videos. You know, oftentimes you're kind of just focusing at the task at hand, and you may not be optimizing for keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys unless they're really, really burnt into muscle memory. I've lost track of the amount of times where, you know, I've editing a video where I'm working inside of Vim and like I hand select a word with the mouse and then hit delete and change that word when, you know, I know that things like uh, CIW exist to change a word. And sometimes I use those off video. It really just depends on the use case there. But yeah, it's another great reminder just to burn control L into muscle memory. So I start using it a little bit more. So yeah, with that said, let's hop into a terminal here and see the differences between the two. So I'm just going to do an ls here in this current directory here. You know, there's a couple hundred blog posts here, and you can see that I can scroll up on my terminal and see all of that output there. So let's go and hit, hit control L here just to see what happens. And that is going to clear the visible screen here. However, if I use the mouse wheel here and scroll up, we can actually see that everything is still there uh, available in the buffer. But uh, if we do the same thing here, rerun lsla here, and we run the clear command, that's going to do the same thing in the sense that, you know, our current visible screen has been cleared. However, I'm scrolling up right now with my mouse wheel, and there is no buffer to scroll up to because clear uh, cleared all that out. So that is the difference between the two, right? Control L is going to allow you to go back into your buffer if you need it, whereas clear is going to clear out just the current screen as well as preventing you from scrolling up to uh, see the buffer there. Now, if we do another LSLA here, you know, we can see all the stuff here. You can scroll up, etc. cetera. Um, control L is actually running clear dash X under the hood here. So if you run that one, we can still scroll up and see the, uh, you know, the buffer there as well. So just running clear X uh, under the hood, you know, now makes maybe a little bit more sense in that it's still using the clear command with a different flag. You know, if control L didn't work for you out of the box, it's possible that your terminal might be uh, interpreting the hotkey in a different way. So you may want to check that one out. I did find in most terminals it does work and it also works in major cells like bash, C cell, even uh, standard shell as well. So, yeah, let's do this again here. I'll do an LSLA. Um, another common hotkey is Control X. This may not work out of the box. It certainly, certainly didn't work with the Microsoft terminal, but there is a way to bind that, which we're going to go over in a second here. But yeah, that's actually a shortcut just for running the clear command. So yeah, I can't scroll up on my buffer now. And it's kind of nice to have Control L and Control X right next to each other here, depending on which one you want to do. Although you may not end up using both too regularly, I find in practice that uh, Control L typically is the one I'm reaching for here because yeah, I'm just trying to clear my current screen because you know when watching a video and like all stuff is down here, it's a little bit harder to read. Right? It's kind of nice if it's just sitting there up top. Up. But um, you know, the use case for maybe wanting to use clear would be like, yeah, okay, you want to clear your current screen, but maybe you also had some sensitive output that you want to remove from your buffer as well, so you can't scroll back up to it. But yeah, let's go into uh, Microsoft Terminal Settings here, and of course, this will be different on whatever terminal that you're using here. But if you go to Actions, you know, these are all the hotkeys. You know, you can go to Add New. And then I've already added it, but there's this clear buffer one here and I assigned it to control K, but yeah, you can just do, uh, you know, add new here. You can find clear buffer, whatever it is, you know, depending on what terminal you're using, you know, hit your hockey here and save it and save it down here. Although I actually don't think you can see that save button, but my face is covering, but yeah, you can just save it and then you're good to go. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be different depending on which terminal you're using. Uh, certain terminals, I think even on Mac OS, Mac OS may support command K instead of using control K with certain terminals. Feel free to let us know in the comments uh, which one worked. So yeah, that's a difference there between control L and clear. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.